So, really, I have no idea what I'm doing. I wasn't really even gonna film today, and then I was like, oh, I just uploaded my last pre-filmed video, so maybe I should film today. So, if you would like to come along for the ride yet again, because I feel like I do this quite frequently, I have no idea what I'm going to do, and I just sit here and ramble. So, anyway, if you would like to see what ends up happening, then please keep on watching. So I've already moisturized my face. I never show that, and I really don't ever say that I do that anymore, but I do moisturize my face. But to start things off, I'm going to use my new favorite thing, and it is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Illuminating Beauty Balm. And like I've said before, and I think I said in my favorites, I have been using this as my all-over-my-face primer. Because I used to use two, and then for some reason, I stopped using two, and I have noticed that my skin does not look as good when I put stuff over top of it, and all that jazz, and... So yeah. I think I want to go for kind of a dewy look today, so I'm going to use my MAC Mineralize Moisture Foundation in the shade NC15, which is probably kind of light for me, because I do have a little bit of a tan going on here. Not that you can tell. Um, like when I say a little, I mean a little. <laughs> so it shouldn't be a problem to warm this up with a bronzer or something along those lines. So then, to blend all of that out, because this is not beautiful enough, I'm going to use my beauty blender, my purple one, and just blend that out all over the place. So like I said, going for a dewy finish, this is quite a dewy finish foundation because it is kind of a moisturizing foundation. So if you have oily skin, you might not like this. Um, but for concealer, I'm going to use my normal, my MAC Pro Longwear. It's almost gone. Um, finally, I guess. So I'm just going to use this up under my eyes, though because still it is my favorite under there. So I think I'm going for really glowy, dewy, really highlighted skin is what I'm going for here. I'm gonna use the pointed end of my beauty blender and just blend that out and you know, buff it in. All that fun so stuff. So I went ahead and did a lot off camera because I don't know what I'm doing with my makeup. My eye makeup tends to take me forever unless I just choose to do something ridiculously simple. But anyway, um, to highlight and kind of conceal some of my face, I used my Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer in Fair, which is very light. It's very comparable to like the NC15 shade of MAC concealers, so very light. Um, and then to conceal the rest of my face, I use the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer in 230 Fair, which is weird because this is the same as my normal skin tone, and this is super light, and supposedly they're the same color. Then to set my face, like always, I use my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder to set under my eyes and kind of anywhere that I highlighted my face. And then to set the rest of my face, I used my Cody Airspun Loose Powder. Um, then to kind of start contouring, but really to bronze up my face, I used my Sephora brand Sol de Rio bronzer. And like, oh, I cannot, I cannot get enough of this bronzer. I love it. Um, and then really to contour my face, I used the MAC Sculpting Powder in the shade Sculpt. Uh, then moving on from there, blush. First, I'm going to put on a little bit of the... Benefit Rockateur blush, and I'm going to use my Real Techniques blush brush, as always. Then I'm going to just use a little bit of this City Color blush in the shade Fresh Melon. It's a very pretty kind of pinky coral, and these are super pigmented, so you really need- you- I cannot talk. You need very little. highlight like always I'm using my Mary Luminizer from the balm. So I think I have decided that I'm going to keep my eyes very simple and very neutral today and for that I'm going to use my original Naked palette. This is like my go-to 
everything when I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I've already primed my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I'm going to first take this shade here, Sin, just on a really big, like, eye brush. And I'm going to pat that all over the lid. Then I'm going to grab my Mary Luminizer, and I'm going to take a stiff flat brush, and I'm going to put this around the inner corners of my lid because I want it to be super highlighted and this is really good for that when you just like pack it on so i'm just going to apply that all or uh, apply that all around the tear duct area and kind of a little bit on to the lower lash line not much just keeping this very simple. So then just taking a fluffy brush i'm going to pick up a little bit of buck i guess which is just a matte brown cork from MAC is very similar. Um, I'm just going to kind of messily just buff this in there. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more and kind of bring this onto the outer corner of the lid or outer portion of the lid just to kind of give a little bit more depth on the lid and it creates a little bit of a little more effort. It looks like you applied a little bit more effort in my opinion. It looks like you used more colors. Uh, then on my pencil brush, if I can find it, here it is. I'm gonna pick up Buck again and I'm going to run that on the lower lash line. So then because I want to avoid using black for this look, I'm going to use the shade Dark Horse, which is like the second darkest brown. I'm going to use a flat liner brush, and I'm just going to take and apply this along my lash line, just to add a little bit of definition there. Because I want this to be a very easy look, very neutral. Just very simple, and you can see that just gives the tiniest bit of definition. Then I'm going to take, what is this, the Real Techniques Domed Shadow Brush, and just kind of buff it along that, just to buff it out, and just kind of give the illusion of liner there. So I forgot to hit record on this, but I went ahead and applied a nude liner in my waterline. This one is from Makeup Forever, and I chose this one because it's not quite as opaque as some of the other ones out there. It's a little bit more sheer, and I just really wanted to open the eye up a little bit rather than cancel out the color on my waterline. But if you are on a budget and can't afford the Makeup Forever one, the Rimmel Scandalize one in Nude will do the job just as sufficiently. This was just shimmery and I wanted to use shimmer. Um, then for mascara, I use the Mega Plush Volume Express from Maybelline. And on my lips, first I applied the NYX Butter Gloss in Peaches and Cream and that was a little bit too um, peachy for me. So I applied the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Crayon in Dazzled over top, and that finishes this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.